Why hello there everyone, today we are watching the Nintendo Direct for September 23rd, 2021. Joining me is my brother, say hi. Hello. And we have, we still have three minutes before it starts, so prediction time. Firstly, uh, I know <laughs> everyone always wants a Smash reveal, right? And even though the chat's getting spammed with Smash predictions right now, I actually don't think Smash is going to be here because oh. th there's only one more Smash character oh. left, right? And I think they know it's a big deal. I think that's going to be saved for the Game Awards or oh. they're going to announce a date in this stream for a Smash exclusive stream in which they will reveal the final Smash character. So I don't think we're getting any Smash things. So this is, however, focused on games watching this winter. So that will include things scheduled for this holiday season, which would be things that are already announced, but that also includes things in uh, January, February, and even March of next year, technically. So the things in February, or the things in January, February, and March could be the new announcements, right? Um, so the things I am expecting, I know I sound like a broken record every time I bring up Bayonetta 3, but I think it's real this time because, uh... Mere hours ago, earlier today, the Japanese schedule got updated with Bayonetta 3 and a new Kirby game. It got, uh, Bay Bayonetta 3 got a release window for 2022, and there was a new Kirby game listed there. So I think we're going to see a new Kirby game and a new Bayonetta game in this live stream. Uh, also, uh, I think maybe we could see that Castlevania GBA collection, because, uh, we know that's real. Uh, Matt, if you don't know, uh... It happened a while back, actually. A GBA Castlevania collection got raided from some ratings board in some country. And then, even more recently, another country's ratings board raided it. So it's been double confirmed, essentially. Oh, nice. And speaking of GBA games, that might this might also be a good opportunity. Since there have been a lot of rumors, I don't know if this has any credibility or merit, but... Um, there have been a lot of rumors about Nintendo adding GBA games or N64 games to their Nintendo Online, so this would be a good spot for that. Also, uh, one last prediction I think I want to make. I think uh, the new Xenoblade game, or whatever the heck Monolith Soft is working on, could be here because it's been a while since the last uh, Monolith Soft game, and this, this would seem like a good time for it. Anything else? Um... <laughs> I don't know. You know something that really annoys me that I've been hearing a lot of YouTubers say? And I guess people are saying it, and then it spreads, and then more people see it. RP to M! I'll, I'll bring it up later. Now people are going to have to be in suspense the whole time. M, it said M, which means Bayonetta 3 is here. Unless there's some other rated M, rated M game, but I doubt that. Your audio? Okay, there is. I the audio got out. <laughs> Nintendo Direct. What is this? Creatures walking. Okay. Ruins. R Castle ruins. Okay. Losty hunty. Uh, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. there's Rathalos. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's watching on Twitch. I'm watching on YouTube. In case one of them goes down, we can fill each other in. You might want to refresh it if I'm a few seconds ahead, though, because you're usually you're the one that's ahead. Did you see this little Nubis looking creature? Yeah, that's a new one. You guys look freaking awesome. I like the ruin. Usually there's not a lot of ruins in Monster Hunter. Yeah. It's a lot of this open land. It's an extent. Mo Monster Hunter there. Freedom had that yeah. one map with a bunch of ruins. Yeah. But usually DLC. Yeah, that's what I figured because it's way too cool. soon for it's a like new like Monster board, Hunter. Guess, right? Yeah, it's probably just like a big expansion. Considering they gave it a title. I'm glad they're not coming out with a new game. They're just updating it. Summer game. next year. That's a while. Why would they announce it so early? Mm -hmm. Dude, I really thought that... Yeah, massive expansion. So I guess it's like Iceborne. Uh, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't announce the PC port first. Hello, everyone. Maybe they're not going to do a PC port. How about that? It was in the Capcom uh, ransomware leak. Yeah. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise. Sunbreak. The massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. Yes. Our friends at Capcom are working on many okay. new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter Rise, including new stories, locales, monsters, and although not touched on, cool little resident sleepers in the chat, loving it. 
Literally the first thing. <laughs> and people are not happy. Scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer 2022. We can highlight messages. Let's go. For more information. <laughs> I'm sure people are taking advantage of that. Only one person did it. Switch headlines. First b -b -b batch. Party during the day. Yeah. Is this uh, Mario Party? Yeah, I want this. I might not. Night. I might not get it. <laughs> Let's get this party started. Uh, I, I might not get this when it releases, but I do want to eventually get this. Yeah. Watch out for those Monty moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. Okay. Travel I guess. Two islands and oh, boom. Toadette's got the star, but she might swap places with Bowser. At the um, that seven. banana there is kind of putting up. No, I'm not gonna say that. No, King I'm not gonna mention that banana. I know. But at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Ooh. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play no! in minigame. No! Break from boards? Worldwide, the longest win streak in survival. Or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mario Party is so Mount annoying. Will have seven I, I still cannot believe that people speed run Mario Party. That mathematically should not exist. F f for enemies. Oh. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. Pre-orders. Yeah, so I'm expecting a lot of ads like this for things that are coming up, right? Because that was basically an ad. RPG is in the cards. Mm, new RPG. Welcome to Voice of Cards. New card game. What? Oh, is it a um, Fire Emblem? I don't know, but you'd figure they would have said Fire Emblem, right? It looks like a Fire Emblem anime little yeah. term. Anime boys. It's not no. triangle strategy. Who's that little thing? At the Queen's Is that thing? Who's that? You'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay the heck? fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this Sir Chat's loving this one. As cards from the protagonist yeah, they're actually all been <laughs> fogged. <laughs> they're all fogging right now. Yeah, no. Not all. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Nah. Okay. This this, cool. this doesn't look this like fun. it's this doesn't look like something you can easily make a trailer for. Yeah, but the little moving piece across the open world, God, I, like always seeing that like move, move, move. I don't know. It might be. A Is this funny, a Square Enix? It sounds kind of like near music. Yeah. Yeah, it's Yoko Taro. Okay, as soon as I say it, sounds like near music. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, okay, wait, this was actually talked about before. Uh, I forgot where I read it, but I knew Yoko Taro was working on a card game. I wonder, one of my yeah. Twitch viewers was asking me about it, and I said, I'm not even going to pay any mind to that until we see it. Yeah. Free demo. And you now the they shadow dropped a demo. Yeah. Cool. Dot, dot, dot. No space. Oh, this is Disco Elysium. Is, is no this idea. it? Is this what, what they were, is this what everyone was talking about? Disco, yeah. I, I don't know a single thing about this Disco Elysium. I know that what it is. I know what it looks like. In the groundbreaking role-playing adventure, Disco Elysium, the final cut. I'm even more convinced there's no Smash thing today, because if there were going to be a Smash thing, and it wasn't at the start, it would be at the end. And if it were at the end, they would have put things like Bayonetta 3 at the start or something. Oh. Right? Your behaviors yeah. and available choices will change depending Because I'm getting the sense that they're saving the Bayo 3 and New Kirby thing for the end. Yeah. Move that one, Kirby. Yeah, I think Kirby 64. It was like 2.5D or whatever. Yeah, 64 was. Yeah. The crystal shards, you can mix abilities. That was a weird... That was good, but that was a weird game. Kind of weird feel I can't believe they haven't brought back the ability mixing and anything else. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like it, but it's just kind of strange. The whole vibe was weird. Like, uh, electricity and ice was a refrigerator. Yeah. Expansion. <laughs> You're going ham on this game's expansions, considering it yeah. doesn't run very oh, well. Egg. What a cool little egg. <sighs> Isn't that how the aliens from Chicken Little uh, look? That, that's how the aliens from uh, Monsters vs. Aliens look. Oh, okay, that must be what put I'm thinking. Put a picture up. Put a picture up. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, put a picture up and post. Uh, do the... Yeah, yeah, I'm picture. I'm definitely the, showing it right now, haha. Not that picture. Do the one of uh, President doing the cool battle with it. 
a music yeah, battle with it. Pretty good for a little kid. Cool, you thank you. Up on this, don't you think? Yep. They won't harm. Silly voices. I really thought this was going to be the game that made them make a Switch Pro. <laughs> yeah. Considering it has so much trouble running on a Switch. Beautiful princess, by the way. What's her name? Yeah, she's beautiful. The princess of the game. Yep. Even that, you see the frames, Chug. And they barely showed any of him. She's on a dung beetle orb. She's on a dung beetle orb. Uh, I can hear you say that. Ready, set, Chocobo, Chocobo Mystery Chocobo. Dungeon? Start. It's racing? Ready, set. Oh, that's cool. He's on, he's on like, uh, roller skates. I'm- I want some serious competitive tech in this game, Squeenix, okay? I want something to rival Crash Team Racing Nitro- Nitro Fueled. Yeah, yeah, we- we know how a Mario Kart clone works. Give us the tech. Oh! Did you see the game slow down? <laughs> Yoga mesh. Oh, oh, oh! What Engine the? customization options will be available, as well as local and online multiplayer. For wacky noises. That's okay. I can forgive some wackiness. players can compete in a bracket-style tournament to determine the Huge Troyer Ball. But if when you're playing the Chocobo, the only song that can play, the only song that can play when you're playing as the Chocobo is the Chocobo theme, no matter what track you're on. What did you think? Before we show you our next video, no, you lo we love you very much. News about the last oh wow! For the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate game. Yeah, they're probably going to announce a date. Mr. Sakurai, the game yeah, director. Yeah, date. Yep, October fifth. That's pretty soon. Video on yeah, and yeah, I'm surprised they're not doing a uh, game awards. He'll also show you I guess they want it to be on their turf, though. Yeah. Everyone watching, I have a video. Oh. With my final Smash character predictions, I'll put a card up on the screen. Please go watch. Please go watch that while the video is still relevant, because then after the last one's revealed, it might not be so relevant of a video anymore. The slow fade out. Cool. Okay. Is that um? Remember the animal game about like post like post apocalyptic Tokyo, and you played as the game uh, animals. In yeah. Tokyo Jungle, I think it was called. It's a new thing, I know, but... I don't think it's Payo 3. <laughs> I don't think it's Mario. Imagine Mario... This could be Donkey Kong. Kong. This could, there was a rumored Donkey Kong game. Oh, it is the Kirby. Yeah. Hey, I knew it wasn't Payo 3. Donkey Kong would be crazy jumping around this post-apocalyptic. Lands. Kirby lore could fit anything in it, though. I know. It looks like the start of a crash level. <laughs> yeah. It's like another kind of Mario Odyssey thing. Huh. It's actually 3D. Yeah. I, I was gonna say that, but I don't want to sound stupid. I was just thinking maybe there's another 3D game. Not that you ever had that. Yeah, it, well, the, the game's definitely running. Mario. Odyssey. There's a. It looked that looked like a fixed camera angle though when he was walking yeah. up those stairs. So it might be more of like an actual. Level, yeah. yeah, it might be more level based than open world because I wouldn't expect fixed camera angles if it were yeah. like an open world thing. Oh my god. Ooh. Game's definitely running. Do I, I do have the stream on 60 Sean, FPS. Game turns into DMC oh. when you get the sword ability. <laughs> oh, spike ability, of course. I'm glad it, they're doing something way different, though, because... They're doing the, a 2D thing in Metroid, so... The Kirby franchise... 
I feel like the Kirby franchise is always at risk of becoming stale if they get lazy with it, right? Yeah. But this obviously keeps it pretty interesting, considering they've never had a 3D Kirby game like that. Yeah. 2022 again. Yeah. Hey, they literally said spring, not winter. Yeah. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. Next, we have this to show you. I wonder if you'll be able to play as uh, Meta Knight or King DDD in 3D. Yeah. Or if they're just focusing on Kirby. Oh. Am like every Aminal person, Crossing? Like every person in the universe played this game for a month? Yeah. <laughs> what if Kirby was the M game and not Bayonetta 3? <laughs> More details in October. Bro, you can't oh, okay. They're announcing an Animal they Crossing Direct. That. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. New free content will arrive in me, 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 me. I can't get mad at Resident Sleepers for this one since they are playing sleepy music. Yeah. Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content. They should have said this right after the uh, Smash announcement. Yeah. Please be on the lookout. For because that Kirby one was pretty big. That was like a huge announcement. Let's move on. They put it in between. Switch headlines. <laughs> Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. What? You're doing all that at once? Four! More free content Four! is Mario Golf Super Rush game. A map? Yeah. Oh, man. As a playable yeah. character. Dish out tricky shots and... Tricky shots. Competition. Okay. Ninji will Ninji. also be playable. Oh, cool. That's a new from uh, Overwatch. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed yep. to his opponents. <laughs> it's the guy from Cube Ninja on the 3DS. Our courses are also being added. <laughs> okay, cool new courses. These additions will come swinging. Hey, today. As a free yeah, software yeah. update later today. What's this? Mickey Mouse. Kingdom what? Hearts? No. In a magical world. I think it's literally Bandai Namco. Kingdom Hearts 4 Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 4 was in the Nvidia leak though. What the What is this? All downloadable content. Oh my lord, man. Still not as weird as Kingdom Hearts. Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition. This is a sequel? Star Wars. Oh quickly they got off that. Yeah, okay, let's move, please. Switch. planets and join forces Oh cool, they're putting the uh they're putting the the actual they're putting the original yeah Kotor on uh on here since they're making that new game yeah right after the remake got announced there's one thing I like, right, too. Remember. Right? <laughs> he... yeah. How is this going to be played on the, the city? Switch. Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the dead. It's the zombies. Version of Dying Light 2, stay human. It's cloud version. That answers your question. Yeah. They're streaming the game. They're not actually pl yeah. playing it on Switch. He's going to die! With up to three other players in online co-op. As you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then yep, talk more about the epic story. Night. Your decisions yeah. will shape the story. Cool character. Aaron. Talk about Aaron. Consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay in the dying Stay light. Human. While you're at it, take the that was the second thing you're supposed to remember. Platinum edition. And remember, it's the name is Dying Light. Life. Craft weapons and Dying Light, literally one of the greatest games of all time. Nice joking. <laughs> you mean one of the most epic stories of all time? <laughs> oh yeah, Kyle Crane. 
A free demo Coolest character ever. The same day on Nintendo e -shop. Dying Light, Platinum Edition. The yeah, these are drop kicks for King Was, is, the, is the regular Dying Light Cloud version? Or is that one actually running on Switch? Hey, Triangle Strategy. I'm actually super hyped for this game. Not enough people are talking about this. I played the demo. Uh, I have I have a video of me playing the demo on the channel. If anybody wants to check it out, I can have another card pop up. Go watch it. Right now. Where will your conviction guide you? It's like so oily, the camera. In response to the survey, they're doing like a I know. vignette thing. Yeah. The game has been fine tuned with a focus on elements that receive lots of feedback. Yes, okay. I hope they. The one. The one thing I wanted them to add. The ability to review previous dialogue. Oh. Wasn't that like the thing we were like, no. Loading times. What they would actually say is the one thing I wanted them to add is the ability to use magic abilities and stuff, even if an enemy weren't there, so you can get the field effect. Because, like, if you use ice, for example, on someone... Hey, got a release date. If you use ice on an enemy, for example, it'll freeze the ground and it'll have a field effect. Like, people on it will have lower dodge or something. Yeah. Uh, and sometimes you would want a Metroid Dread... Uh, Sometimes you would want to, you know, sometimes there could be an instance in which you might want to just change the terrain effect, even if you're not hitting anybody, for example. But they don't yeah. let you use the magic spell unless you're targeting someone, right? What are saying? Yeah, it's, uh, Emmy. Yeah. Fim, how? So I, I don't want to see any more about this game because it's almost yeah. out and I don't want any spoilers. This does look just like an ad, though. There may be a very small Why is it too quiet? There you go, down. Yeah. Uh -uh. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, yeah, now we'll be watching this, bro. Aren't I ahead of you? Wow, they put Kraid in the trailer. Yeah, I wouldn't be watching this. You don't want spoilers. It's too late. Huh. Kraid, no, nothing can be a worse spoiler than Kraid. I told you not to watch, bro. Since you're out the whole screen, now. Put a black bar over everything. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the Uncharted Oh, okay. I thought it was like so you in the game and talking like this. Your objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X parasite still exists. It looks exactly how it looked in yeah. Metroid Fusion. That's funny. The germoid. Germoid. Germule. That was like a twisted planet, by the way. Oh, you have planets. Oh, these are biomes. Each with its own oh, yeah. Places. And organisms. Hey, this looks good. Yep. Because so far they've only showed that super sterile looking place. It's literally coming out in a few days. I don't need to read anything. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread reports there as well. You want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Um, I'm actually unironically hyped for Chozo lore. Yeah. Pretty good. How was that? Thanks, man. Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. 64 games? I've been using Nintendo Switch Online since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. New membership plan? Cool. As a part of this new plan's content. Yeah, I think so. Everyone act hyped for the N64 games. Yeah, honestly, this is overdue, right? I'm glad they're doing yeah, this. I thought this was already in there. Yeah, it should have already been in there. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I think the system gave many players their first 3D Hey, Sin and Punishment. I actually, I actually might get it. I actually might, uh... Buy a subscription just to play Sin and Punishment because I've always wanted to play that. Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Fox! 
Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games... GBA? Oh, wow. oh Genesis. Sega already had a bunch of uh, Genesis games you could buy on the eShop, though. Show Alien Soldier. You cowards. <laughs> Nintendo Switch online membership, as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online plus. They said how much it costs. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Uh, I don't know. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Okay. Also, those who have an Thank you for allowing me to spend money, brand. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. Oh, okay, no price yet. For now, however, we'd like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. Okay, uh... You'll be able to win play back. What is win back? <laughs> Contra. Sin and Punishment's the most exciting one on Golden there. Golden Axe. Okay. Castlevania Bloodlines. AF Zero. Do they have multiplayer with F Zero? Show a little name. That might actually be super exciting. Controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Throws I'm surprised they're doing Sega Genesis instead of GBA because, like I said, Sega already had a whole bunch of old games on the eShop. Works for a new controller. It's like a, not new, it's like a new old controller. Yeah, that's going to sell out immediately. Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack. N64 controllers have to be one of the ugliest controllers ever made. <laughs> Is that is that a controversial I statement? I have the three prongs. I like the three, three things. These collections. Castlevania. No. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened no. and fantasy creatures Wait. have come back yep. to life. Immersive branching no. narratives. No, that would not happen. Skill-based character growth. And gripping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy. Launching no, on that would not happen. Switch no. next year. Guess they're saving Bayonetta 3 for the end. Surprise. Hey, it's the Castlevania GBA collection. collection brings together four That's an auto-buy for me. Anybody watching this, please go buy this game. Because I know it's fun to dunk on Konami because they're really stupid. But we have to give them positive reinforcement when they do something good like this. And this looks like a good collection too. I just ass yeah. assuming yeah. it's a good port, which this it probably is, 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 huh? This is exclusive art. Yeah. Yeah, the Castlevania anniversary collection was really good. The Castlevania anniversary collection and the Contra uh, collections on Switch are really good. So I bet this will be good too. So please show Konami that you do like actual games. This actually looks cool. The classic Super NES game Act Race what the? on Nintendo Switch. It's a remake? <sighs> No. It's a SNES what? game. I don't think I've ever seen this. Yeah, like the Lord of Dark. Super like, pixely and bad. First, no, I like this style. No, no, I mean like it, like they showed like a split second. Yeah, the how it looked before. You can play as a cherubim. Cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structure. This is like a completely different game. <laughs> The overworld? This looks pretty advanced for a SNES game. Yeah. I'm super intrigued about this. If anybody has any knowledge or experience about this game, like the original, please enlighten me in the comments. It's like, yeah, it's like tower defense civ building stuff, and then 2D side-scrolling RPG stuff. Later today? I guess I won't have to wait very long to find out what that is. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I have no idea anything about Delta Runner. I know the name. It's a sequel to uh, Undertale. Underwear. I'm going to call it Underwear. Hoping no one's offended by that.
Surprised the game so inspired by Earthbound managed to get so popular from a player base that mostly doesn't know what Earthbound is. Or, you know, not many people have played Earthbound, right? Yeah. So it's, it's surprising that a game that's so heavily based on it was able to get so popular. Today as well, a lot of shadow drops. Yeah. ASMT5. I don't want to I mean, see. Yeah, that's when it's already out, though. I don't I want to see it. any more SMT5 stuff either. It's coming out soon enough. I don't want spoilerinos. Yeah. What the? That Hot Wheels game has gotten zero marketing so yeah. far, and I'm wondering if they're just banking entirely on. We're Hot Wheels. You guys like love grandparents us. buying their kids a game yeah. for Christmas, <laughs> buying their grandkids a game, buying their grandparents a game. Say, like, come on, guys, we're Hot Wheels. You love us. No, not really. What is it? Matchbox is better. They have better wheels. <laughs> yeah. There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Hello. What brings you? Everyone, everyone, be quiet. Announcement. So I was hoping I could step in. Go. Of course. Everyone stops what they're doing. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. We previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Cool. Oh no. He's announcing its cancellation. It's getting a release date. What if he came up and said, like, I saw a bit of what they were working on and I don't like it, so I'm announcing yeah. it's canceled. <laughs> dropping this entirely i want it to release around the same time as the sonic movie sequel that would be pretty poetic it'll be a while longer until yeah. we can share a glimpse of mario in action on the big screen but today i also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing mario and his friends in the movie will mario talk chris word pratt is mario what what why did he do the mario guy charles martinet he doesn't actually say sentences he just says like Wahoo! <laughs> what? You know, you know what's really funny about that? You know what's really funny? Uh, there's a lot of information that leads me to believe. <laughs> That's better, I think. That's better at casting. Um. Okay, what they're doing. Chris Pratt. Uh, that I'm I can be down for that. Like <laughs> Jack yeah, Black I'm Bowser. Okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Maybe it's self-aware. This is pretty good. This could be good. Uh, they were wanting to get DKs in it. It has a bigger roster than the Sonic movie. Yeah, it just turns into a Smash movie. Uh, they were wanting Chris Pratt to be. And of course, Charles Martinet. A cameo? Who has voiced Let's Mario see. and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years. Who is he playing though? He's involved. Maybe a cameo. Surprise cameos in the movie. Yeah, okay. Uh they were wanting Chris Pratt to be the main character in the Sonic movie. <laughs> what? To play some of our other <laughs> That's funny. Cool. That, okay. uh, uh, yeah, I, That's I, funny. Yeah. I think there's <laughs> project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying the um, And the original uh like poster art they made for Sonic before they revealed the cast, the guy in it looked exactly like Chris Pratt. So a, a lot of people, including myself, think that that's who they were going for originally. Yeah. So it's so that, that if that's true, that's pretty poetic he ends up being in the Mario movie. Yeah. Like to show you this. Like when he was approached for this for the Sonic movie, he was like, "Nah, that's below my pay grade." But yeah. then he gets approached for a Mario movie, and he's like, "Okay." What's this? It's a Spl Splatoon three, I think. Oh, yeah. Saw the loading screen. This is the M game. Yeah. They, they get red ink now. <laughs> yeah, they add white and red paint, ink. <laughs> I mean, that's all they change. It goes to M. Like, what <laughs> uh, Kids don't understand. <laughs> Like 
<laughs> Dude, if they don't put Bayonetta 3 here, what would be the end game? I don't know. Maybe it was some, one of like past games. Like some the, grapple the hooking Nintendo stuff. Pass. Maybe it was Sin and Punishment on the N64. That's what I'm saying. It might, it might have been one of the N64 games or something. Is Sin and Punishment M? Probably not. I, I know Star really Successor on the Wii is. What the? What am I looking at? Oh. A, a tentacle? fuzzy tentacle. Uh. That is some. That was Mob Psycho right there. That upside, upside Down, down City. City. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. The crack of the designs. <sighs> Hyper pop. Did they give a release date for the Castlevania GBA collection? I have to go back and check that. I like the uh, jungle drum and bass. Yeah. I feel like it fits this game pretty well. Platoon lore is so weird. Yeah. Modified future of font. Okay. Typeface. What the? She got furified, bro. No. Oh, that melee. What the? My melee is. Splatoon lore. Uh, the world flooded. Humans and stuff died, and then the squids evolved into inklings. Yeah, so maybe they're saying like. Mammalians are like coming back and yeah. evolving. That can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of Chaos. Okay. Chaos! ...are the Splatlands. A place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings Is the plural of octopus octopuses? Well, I guess he does have a lab coat, so you must be right. I've always wondered if it were octo pie, like cactus, cacti. Compete against each other to ink the most area. However. The trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special crab mech is cool in the footage in the latter portion of the footage we were able to observe activities from story mode the single player campaign return of the mammalian the underline is they like did a mic yeah they literally just did like ms paint <laughs> the theme of story mode this time around what could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? Maybe they were living underground, that's why there was the Upside Down City. Yeah. It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, don't worry. Yep. He closed his lab coat. Yep. He's a little... Crude. They told him. What the hell? He's standing. Oh! Oh! He hit him with the... Oh! <laughs> Get him with the, uh, cool, thing. I don't know what that was. Pose. <laughs> so, what did you think? What am I saying? Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled to release in 2022. Please look forward to future updates. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is the last trailer we've seen for you today. Please, take yeah, Turning up the volume on my end. Here. It's a real game. Take that, Kamiya. No, I, I don't care. It's an update. Maybe we'll get a release yeah. window. Kamiya oh. told everyone to stop thinking about the game. Yeah. I know this is Bayonetta 3, even though it doesn't look like it, because I know they would go for a fake out. Yeah. I'm that big. I take that. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. P? Aha, uh -huh, they put P on your head. Oh, it's Astral Chain! I really thought this was Bayonetta 3, but it is a Platinum game. No, that means Bayonetta... Oh. <laughs> uh, I was like, Platinum, don't start another Astral Chain before you, re before you release Bayonetta 3. Don't do it. It was a double fake out. Yeah. I, di I didn't fall for the first layer. That's a cool redesign. I didn't fall for the first layer, but I fell for the second yeah. layer. I didn't even know. I didn't. I didn't ever play Astral Chain. So is that little creature? That's the mask. It's the mascot for oh, the okay. police station. Yeah. She kind of looks like the hairstyle. It kind of looks like the hairstyle she had when she was uh, younger. Yep. They knew what they were doing with the uh, yeah. dog from Astral Chain, Madama Butterfly. Yeah, I like her outfit. Good stuff. Dude, they legitimately made me think that they were working on another Astral Chain before Bayo 3, and I was thinking, like, that's why Kamiya yeah. said don't think about the game. Yeah. That back demon from Aki. What? They'll let you, uh, they'll, I'm sure they'll let you do the other costumes as well, because in Bayo 2, you could do the costume from 1 or 2. Keeping the uh, kaiju fights from two, obviously. I just want the game to run well, right? I'm sure it will because Bayo 2 runs well. I set pieces. Cool. Hey, they're not using the green color. Yeah. Pur it's purple. When they first revealed it, it had like a green logo. Really? It's probably because that minty kind of color of those things, those like demons. Maybe. <laughs> okay, and it got a release window. 2022, exactly what the uh, schedule yeah, it's said. Late 2022. Ooh, it's probably like uh, fall 2022 or something. F me, nice. F me if I care about Bayonetta story at all. Don't ask me what the heck happened in Bayonetta 1 or 2. I just know I like the games. <laughs> Don't ask me what happened in them, though. Yeah, 2017! You were saying that was uh, Virgil. We hope you look forward to what? No way. I'll go back. No, let me, I'll go back and listen. There's no way. Kamiya has expressed he does not want to collab with Capcom. Because, essentially, they they basically, you know, they basically, uh, they don't have a good relationship with each other. Oh. Okay, I'm going back. <clears throat> Correct. But they basically took, uh, Benetta three. Devil May Cry from him. I'm listening. Yeah. No, that is not Virgil. He doesn't, I was thinking, like, oh, maybe they heard him say something. No. It's probably just a Virgil... Kind of archetype, maybe right? Archetype looks like him, yeah. yeah, it's like they need to have a Virgil like character. I want to go back toward I want to go back to the uh Castlevania anniversary collection. The the Kirby 3D game and Bayonetta 3 are definitely the two biggest things from that. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then personally the Castlevania GBA collection is a big highlight for me. Uh where was it? Was it before or after Dread? What? Castlevania. Oh, the Castlevania thing? I think it was, uh... It's after I found it. Our Castlevania Advanced Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Later today?! F! So many good things are releasing around the same time. Okay, uh, I have to go buy it. I might not play it today, but I need to go buy it, because like I said, I want to support that. It's, it's easy to make fun of Konami, but we have to give them positive reinforcement when they do something good. So please, everyone, if you want Konami to actually start making games again, like actual non-mobile games, uh, please go support that. <clears throat>
Um, I guess that's all for now. I'm going to try to get this uploaded and put timestamps on it and everything. I'll probably I'll probably highlight the Bayonetta part and the Kirby part as separate things, uh, just for searchability. Anything else you want to say? No. And uh. And obviously, I will be reacting to the final Smash reveal as well. They said that was on the 5th, did they say? They said that was on the 5th, uh, right? Second or 5th, something like that. Something like that. Whatever they said, I'll be doing it. So, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you all later. So, bye for now. Bye-bye.